Especially for maybe the young enlisted men and women that joined before they went to college when they were 17, 18 years old? Should they try to jump right into LinkedIn and find a job? I think the first thing I'd tell them is, if you don't have a degree, go to school. Use the GI Take Bill. Take advantage of the GI Bill. So I'd say get the education. Uh, and it may, not be it may not be a college education, it may be learning a skill. And, and that's, that's a choice they have to make. Do I want to go the college route or do I want to learn a skill? And you're going to hear about some programs here that, that are actually in place to give transitioning servicemen and women a skill before they leave the military so they at least have a job to start off with. I mean, I read someplace where uh, over half of transitioning service members um, are, are uh, unemployed in the first 18 months of their transition. That's not necessary. We can do better than that. And so when I talk to them, and I talk to lots of veterans groups around the country, the first thing I tell them is don't sell, don't sell yourself short. You already have the hard skills, the skills that are hard to train. You've already got the skills that the business leaders are looking for. And I tell them the story about, about my going to graduate school after I'd been in the Army nine years. And I started reading international relations theory, and I thought I was the dumbest guy on the block. But I persevered and got through it and, and, and came out fine. And I said, so I, I said, don't sell yourself short. Work hard. Uh, the second thing I tell them is, don't be afraid to ask for help. And that might seem odd. But what I find is all, all these service members are trained to be members of a team. And when you're a member of a team, you don't ask for something for yourself. Mm. It's all about the team. And that's a, big, that's a big change for them. And so they need to get out and do it. And then lastly, I tell them to be bold because the country needs their leadership. And I firmly believe that this generation empowered by the GI Bill can have every bit as significant an impact as the World War II generation benefited from the GI Bill.